What a fantastic year it has been, with a lot of exciting and promising record releases this year even resulted in me to change to a completely different brand after playing with Head all my life. So what can we expect in 2024? Head released the new Gravities and Prestiges, which are fantastic lines and this year we can expect two lines get the new Oxetic 2.0 technology and a more or less new design. I'm talking about the Head Speed line and the Head Boom line. I'm a huge fan of the Speed Pro and the Head Boom MP and I'm looking forward to test them both alongside the others like the Speed MP which was a bit of a disappointment and the Boom Pro which I was not able to test. I'm looking forward to both releases. The Head Extreme line also could get a release at the third quarter of the year in 2024 which could also be a good update. Head is playing it safe and in the last couple of years making incremental steps which is good. But regularly updating is most of the time not worth it. We cannot say that about the next brand. In 2023 we have had two or three fantastic updates of the V-Core and the Percept line, which leaves the Eason line to be updated maybe at the beginning of 2024. I'm interested to see if they also make a big change to the form of the racket as they did with the V-Core line or replace vibration dampening mesh with server filter for a more crisper and a more stable racket as they did with the Percept. Comment down below which releases you're looking forward to in 2024. In 2023, Wilson released the ProStar V14, the new Shift and the Ultra V4, which implies that the Wilson Plate version 9 will be released in 2024. There are already some pictures out there of how the new plate will look like. The plate is very popular and I'm looking forward to the update and if they introduce permanent bending to it, it will be a fantastic new racket. The second release could be the Wilson Clash, which is the comfort line of Wilson. As I have not tested the Clash yet, I am also very much looking forward to the new ones. Design wise, also one of my favorite rackets from almost every brand. 2023 was a fantastic year for Pavolat with the introduction of the Pure Aero 98. Kalitos and Holger are definitely two fantastic young guns to endorse and market this racket. Also, the regular Aero had a fantastic update for more stability and control instead of focusing on raw power okay. and spin. An update for the Pure Strike is definitely long overdue. It has been almost 4 years without an update on that one. It seems after the pandemic this racket has been not in the focus. Also the Pure Drive, which is way more popular especially amongst club players, could get an update this year. I would like them to go the same way as it did with the Aero. A bit more stable and make the string pattern a bit more denser. But let's see what they will bring to the table. That is all I know now and some smaller brand updates will also be released but they are not really known. If you know some, comment down below. If you're interested in the Percept line, check this video next.